A man from New York is going viral for his portraits of celebrities like Post Malone, Billie Eilish, and Gordon Ramsay, all made out of food. Harley Langberg is a father and investment partner, but his side hobby has helped him gain thousands of followers on Instagram. Harley joins us now to tell us how this got started. Harley, how are you? I'm doing great. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. So you're an investment guy, and did you just love food, or do you, were you an artist on the side? How did this all start? So I've always loved art. Uh, you know, being uh, born and raised in New York City uh, with some of the best museums and galleries, and then continuing my uh, interest in art actually at Northwestern University. Ah. Uh, and food has always been part of me. You know, I started cooking at age five. Mm -hmm. And then it was about nine years ago, I was living in uh, the meatpacking district, and I saw this food art photography exhibit at Chelsea Market. And I said, wow, you know, this is really cool. It combines two of my interests. So let me give it a shot. And that night I created my very first piece. And here I am nine years later, having created hundreds of different pieces. Oh, so I see some, some of the food items are recognizable. I see strawberries, I saw some pasta, but what is your favorite materials to work with? Or is there like a go-to food that you typically start off with? Yeah, I love using either as the base mashed potatoes or cookie dough, because it's almost like clay or Play-Doh. You can mold it, you could shape it, you could dye it any color. Uh, and then on top of that, I add various vegetables and, and um, you know, different produce items to bring in the color and bring in the dimension. But those are really my uh, space starting points because uh, it's so fun to work with. So, I mean, can you sell these? Do you, do you treat them so that they don't go bad? So I've gotten that question before, but I actually eat them. And now I eat them with oh. my daughter. Uh, who's become a big fan, my two-year-old daughter, Blake. Oh. Um, what I do sell is I do sell the prints. So the photo is everlasting, but I do love the impermanence, you know, of the food art that it's here one minute and then gone the next. Food art seems to be having a moment right now with, you know, like the cakes that you can't tell if they're cakes or if they're actually mm -hmm. the real object itself. Um, were you surprised at the popularity of your of your projects? So when I first started doing this, food art was just kind of mm -hmm. coming out to the mainstream about nine years ago. Um, you know, now it's super popular, but, um, you know, I like to tell everyone that I was one of the OG food artists, you know, back when a lot of people weren't doing this. But um, I'm, I'm amazed today, you know, how much it's grown and, you know, how much uh, people have really appreciated that I'm playing with my food, you know, the, the things we were taught not to do when we were kids. Have, has anyone reached out asking to buy one of these things saying don't eat it and we can save it somehow? They have. And I said, no, that's not a good idea because, you know, <laughs> produce doesn't last and the pieces don't look as good as they, you know, they, they, they start out to be. So I say, buy the print, you're better off. All right, and if people want to do that, you can check out harleysfoodart.com and you can follow them on social media. Harley, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Harley. Thank you so much, take care.